Welcome to Engineering Spirit's presentation of Battery Condition Test. Engineering Spirit is an electronics company that has been around since 1991. It has a lot of experience in the field of power electronics, embedded and technical software, and communication software. This presentation is an introduction to battery condition testing, the purpose of testing, the test methods, and the obtained results. From fall 2012, Engineering Spirit will manage the battery condition test projects from their Hong Kong office. There are many reasons that batteries may not perform according to their specifications. Before a battery is used in an application, like an e-car or an e-bike, it is best to measure the actual capacity first. In that way, a customer will know that the battery was good upon delivery. If there are battery problems later on, the initial measurement is a good reference. This is part of a quality assurance procedure and will reduce customer warranty claims and improve customer satisfaction. A normal measurement cycle starts with pre-charging so that the battery is full. Then a discharge is done. During the discharge period, the actual capacity is measured. The capacity is expressed in ampere hour and is determined by multiplying the discharge time with the discharge current. The example shows a discharge time of one and a half hour with a current of six ampere, resulting in a capacity of nine ampere hours. After discharging, a recharge of the battery is required. For immediate use, recharging may be done to 100%. If the battery is to be stored for later use, recharging to about 60% is better. The results of a test are written in a test report. The report has two sections. First, a table with pass or fail of the battery capacity and charger current and voltages. Second, the graphs of both the discharging phase and the charging phase. Both graphs show voltage and current, giving a good indication of the battery's behavior. On the discharge graph, even a battery impedance measured at 100 Hz is plotted. There is also a possibility to do a longer term impedance measurement with a special measurement function. The parameters are compared to the battery and charger minimum requirements. This way, a pass or fail decision can be made by the program and be printed on the report. This is a figure of the setup of a test system that can handle two batteries at the same time. In the center is a BA500 that has connections on the top side to the mains and to the two chargers. The two chargers are powered from the BA500. They are switched on and off under program control. The charger's output is wired through the BA500 to the battery, so that the charge current and voltages can be measured. The battery's load connection is wired to the BA500 to perform the discharge test. If the batteries have a BMS, a battery management system, with external connections, they can be read by the software. Connecting two batteries with their chargers allows an overlap in charge discharge time and operating handling, resulting in a better tester utilization. Up to 32 BA500 analyzers may be connected to a single PC using USB. The software that controls the analyzers will list all the analyzers and can start tests. The battery serial numbers may be used to identify the test protocol. In order to prevent typing errors, the use of a barcode scanner is preferred. Based on the serial number, the test profiles will automatically be identified. Test profiles are the description of requirements that apply to the battery and to the charger. Also, one or more measurement procedures are defined in the profile. The software will perform the measurements automatically, save the measurement data file and produce a report in PDF format. For lifetime cycling tests, result records are kept in a spreadsheet file. There are facilities to automatically copy saved files to other locations on disks or on the network.
Since customers will appreciate or demand proof of quality of delivered batteries, a test report in the form of a PDF file for each battery will be provided. This will aid in the total quality assurance chain and help reduce support and warranty claims. The fully automated test setup minimizes operator mistakes and minimizes costs. The BA500 Analyzer is a compact unit that can easily be stacked in a fire protective cabinet. This concludes the introduction to battery condition testing. More information is available on our website www.batteryconditiontest.com.